welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again for just a really quick video, to be honest with you. The, the details behind this is that I literally walked into a Ross the other night for an odd end thing just to see if they had it, not toy related, and this was sitting at the checkout, that really weird checkout where they put like a bunch of snacks and toys and everything in this white basket, so they were sitting a Inspector Gadget from ABY style or Abby style studio, whatever you want to say. This initially, now in hindsight now, I thought that maybe you would get some articulation out of this thing. Maybe three points, if anything. No, right off the bat, I'll tell you, it's a, it's a statue. However, it's Inspector Gadget and it it looks exactly like Inspector Gadget. And I forget your name, I apologize, but if you want to comment down below. Somebody had written in about a week ago, and they said, hey, I found this at Ross, and I immediately went, well, if I ever went into Ross and I saw it sitting there, I would definitely grab it. The other thing to that is that this was about four, like afterwards, like five and change, almost six bucks with tax and everything else. I've seen people say, oh, I found it for eight. Oh, I found it for 12, something like that. So it's kind of be a mixed bag. And looking at it, as we're going to do right now, I'll tell you honestly, I'm glad I got it for the price I did because I don't think I would have paid more than that. You can get it on Amazon right now if you like. It's like 30 some bucks. I would advise against it, unless you're really like Inspector Gadget, but I'm stoked that I got it for the price because of what it really entails, and I didn't really go in there going, oh, I need an Inspector Gadget uh, statue, essentially, but you get the idea. Now, one thing that, in thinking about Inspector Gadget, I watched an episode, I kind of fast forwarded it, but... That was a show that I grew up with, and I enjoyed it, never really thought too much of it, and you watch it now as an adult, you're like, okay, well, this this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They've actually continued the Inspector Gadget story for years. It's gone all the way to CGI cartoons and movies, and they had specials of the original Inspector Gadget. Things that I didn't really know about as far as it's gone, it's quite interesting, but one question that I had, and I always thought about this, because as you get older, you go, wait, what is he exactly? Is he a robot? Is he actually human? Is he a cyborg doing, like, split-second research? There was an old trading card, and it literally says, and ironically, and I think very funny, is that he slipped near-fatally on a banana peel, which... Inspector Gadget is like Inspector Clouseau, Get Smart, all those James Bond, all those kind of spy sort of deals, comedy, serious, or otherwise, rolled into one with a little RoboCop kind of action, right? So be it. That's kind of what Inspector Gadget is, and that's why he was always interesting to me, but the fact that, yes, he almost died, and then they resurrected him as this cyborg inspector. It writes itself. It's pretty darn interesting. So in the sense of what ABY Studio has done here for their super figure collection, we're going to open them up. I'll show you a few comparisons. We'll keep it light. We'll keep it fun. Sit back, relax, yada, yada. We'll just get right to it. So here's Inspector Gadget all out of the packaging. So there's not much to it, of course. And like I said, yes, it's a statue, but he stands around six inches. He gets maybe an inch, half an inch with his base. But for me, in totality of looking at this, uh, a lot of people had said, I, I, would you be interested in showing it off? I'm interested in this figure slash statue. It's a great representation of the cartoon of Inspector Gadget. For that alone, I'm stoked. I think they did a great job just capturing him. Nothing moves on this guy at all. No arms, no legs. You have the magnifying glass accessory, which is kind of sort of magnifying-y. That's a nice touch, at least. That's an interesting accessory for Inspector Gadget. He holds it perfectly with the one hand. And yes, that's not going to move. The head's not going to move. The paint, he has a little bit of wash. He's got the G on the belt. He does come with a stand, like I said. You can pull him off of it. It has two pegs right there, which, yes, keeps him nice and aloft. It has a manhole cover. I think that it would have been kind of cool to put the, the garbage can that he has in the alleyway in the opening of the credits of the show. That would have been kind of cool. That way, that's you would go, oh, yeah, that's the thing he's about to get into, and that goes into a hole. Otherwise, 
yeah, I mean, it's kind of reminiscent of that. Maybe that's the can that comes out. But no, it's definitely a manhole cover. You get all the information for ABY Style Studio on the bottom. This is kind of old. It's about 2021. But like I said, it's starting to hit Ross stores. The blues, the shoes, the paint itself. Gorgeous. I absolutely Love the way it looks. Would I have wanted a more articulated Inspector Gadget? There are ones out there. They're actually a pretty penny. There's also old action figures, of course, from Tiger Toys. He stands okay without the stand itself. You can even tap around him, maybe situate him, but in the slightest touch, he's going to go forward. So the base is definitely beneficial. He's kind of sort of teeter-tottery towards the front. But like I said, you figure it out. You get him pegged in there. You can have him with the stand. You might as well keep him on the stand. But regardless, yeah, I'm very happy with it for what it is, essentially. To kind of get an idea of the scale of this figure from NECA Toys to Marvel Legends, you even have Beetlejuice, Ghostbusters from Diamond Select, that kind of deal. Yes, he is in that six inch mark. He will go nicely with those old school cartoon classics. Ninja Turtles, X-Men, he won't move, he won't do anything, he will just be a statue on your shelf. Nobody has to know that, it just looks cool. So for that alone, it's a great nostalgic trip down memory lane for me. Like I said, I went back and watched a few cartoon episodes as dumb as they are. Like, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a dumb show. But it's fun, and that was the fun of Inspector Gadget, because in some parts it's funny, Penny tries to help, Brain does all the work, it's cool. So if you find this for a decent price, 4 to 12 bucks, whatever it is, at your local Ross, and you like Inspector Gadget, totally. But anything more than that, yeah, I would just wait. Just wait until you get it for a decent price, because there's not a whole lot to it. It doesn't move, it doesn't do anything, but again, for that price... By all means, totally grab it. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this really quick vid, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, again, the fact that he near-fatally slipped on a banana peel, that's hilarious. And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.